Germany sent a warship to the South China Sea on Monday for the first time since 2002 as tensions continue over China's claim of the territory. The frigate warship known as the Bayern Bavaria, departed the German naval base of Wilhelmshaven on Monday during a ceremony attended by the country's defense secretary, Annegret Kramp-Karrenbauer. Together with its allies, Germany wants to show more presence in the Indo-Pacific region, Germany's navy said in a statement. The presence of German warships in the South China Sea was also triggered by China's warning to UK's carrier strike group not to carry out any improper acts as it enters the South China Sea. China maintains that large portions of the nearly 1.3 million square mile area in the South China Sea are within its sovereign territory due to language in the Law of the Sea Convention. The communist country has set up various military outposts on artificial islands in the region, which is said to be rich in oil and fishing. The United States and other countries, meanwhile, dispute these territorial claims, and the U.S. Navy regularly conducts operations in the waters that pass by some of these islands. The U.S. has also received support from allies in an effort to resist China's territorial claims over the area. France, Japan, Australia and New Zealand have also recently increased activity in the Pacific waters in symbolic defiance to China. Last week, the United Kingdom aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth and its support vessels entered the South China Sea despite warnings from Beijing. The UK Ministry of Defence released a statement last Tuesday about the carrier's deployment to the contested waters. It said, the exercise, to advance interoperability and coordination between the two navies, builds on the deep and long-standing defence partnership between the UK and Singapore. Meanwhile, The Global Times, a paper controlled by the Chinese Communist Party, condemned the carrier's presence in the waters. An opinion piece published on July 26 in the outlet said, the UK intends to use its navy to revive its old dream of an empire but its overall strength cannot support such global ambitions. A 2016 ruling by the International Court of Justice in The Hague in a case brought by the Philippines rejected China's claim to the South China Sea and allowed the US and its allies to conduct routine operations there. US Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin addressed the situation last Tuesday during a visit to Singapore. He said, Beijing's claim to the vast majority of the South China Sea has no basis in international law. That assertion treads on the sovereignty of states in the region. We continue to support the region's coastal states in upholding their rights under international law. British Navy shows global ambitions with aircraft carriers South China Sea mission. The presence of Britain's new aircraft carrier and scheduled permanent deployment of two warships to Asia reflects the country's ambition to become a major global player and its commitment to U.S. plans to contain China, according to military analysts. HMS Queen Elizabeth and its strike group are in the South China Sea for freedom of navigation exercises and a series of military drills with a number of other countries in the region. The warships left Britain two months ago and are on a 42,000 km mile, mission that will continue until the end of the year. Beijing-based military expert Zhou Chenming said the mission had left a gap in defenses in Europe where US-led NATO forces were needed to counter the Russian military. The strike group's journey from Europe to Asia can be seen as a political show. It should stay home to cope with the Russian Navy instead, Zhou said. However, Macau-based military observer Antony Wang Dong said London had used the maiden voyage of its strike group to try to rebuild its credibility and highlight its commitment to joining France, Germany and the Netherlands in supporting the U.S. freedom of navigation efforts and operations in the South China Sea. The U.S. and China have been at odds in the contested waterway where Beijing has territorial disputes with a number of neighbors, including Vietnam and the Philippines. 
The high-profile visits and joint naval drills along its journey from home to the contested South China Sea is a sign of the Royal Navy's resurgence after decades of contraction. It's good training for the British Navy, Wang said. The U.S. welcomed Britain's support in containment against China because Washington understands London's influence in the region due to its former glory of being the empire on which the sun never sets.